Kitui district is one of those regions considered semi-arid in Kenya, but a region whose potential in growing biodiesel producing plants is enviable. Jatropha is one of those plants which is unheard of in many parts of the country. This plant grows almost anywhere, on the poorest stony soils, on gravelly, sandy and saline soils, and can thrive in the crevices of rocks and also in medium fertile lands. At the Green Africa Foundation farm in Kaveta, Kitui, some close to 300 seedlings are in the nurseries. These plants hardly require water. You can grow jatropha using seeds or even cutting. If you're using the seeds, it normally stays in the nursery for two months. Then you transplant it and it grows within the first eight months you can get your first seeds. It has a productive lifespan of 40 to 50 years. During dry seasons like now, jatropha plants are hardly noticeable in the farms and to a stranger, they may appear worthless. It is a shrub, but jatropha is a valuable plant with very high oil content and is used to produce biodiesel. Now with the increasing shortage of normal fossil diesel and soaring prices, the world is moving towards biodiesel. The seeds are indeed fatty when crushed. And when exposed to fire, it displays every characteristic of petrodiesel. Energy Permanent Secretary says biodiesel has the potential to cut up to 10% of the country's energy needs. We consume more than 1 million metric tons of diesel every year. Given the high cost of diesel, Jatropha becomes another very, very uh, profitable source of um, revenue. It is commonly planted as a fence around homes, as a farmer in Athi River has done, or as a boundary or grave marker. The Ministry of Energy intends to roll out a biodiesel strategy, which will put in place structures for production, marketing and manufacturing of oil plants in about one and a half years. We are looking at the farmer, the cooperative movement, yeah, where now farmers will be paid on delivery. The ministry has not identified a serious manufacturer yet, but in Buuni area in Machakos, some 400 farmers have found a manufacturer and a market in this energy kiosk. This machine crushes seeds from sunflower and jatropha plants. This machine is jatropha to use as fuel for the machine. We have sunflower to crush for the oil, this oil is used to use as while the oil drains into a basin, the waste from the husks is also collected for use as manure in place of the conventional chemical fertilizer. This little shop is now literally fighting darkness in the entire neighborhood. Ita ukichaji, inachukua karibu wiki mbili uyarudisha tena hapa. Na tunachaji kwa shilingi salasini etu peke yake. Ambapo shilingi salasini mafuta taa ya shilingi salasini, ya iwezi kuchukua hata siku mbili. Inaisaidia watoto kusoma. It is no secret that Kenya is not food secure, neither is it energy secure. However, the need for food security often overshadows the need for energy security. In a bid to grow oil plants, the Ministry of Energy is now looking at zoning out areas where there will be no competition between food and alternative energy sources. This plant does very well at the coast, and the Ministry of Energy is keen on the Jatropha growing areas in Lamo district. Hector, moja, the price of a kilogram ranges between 200 to 1,000 shillings, while each seed could be sold for 20 to 40 shillings. In countries like Brazil, South Africa, Mali and India, biodiesel is already being used to power industries. Sylvia Chabet for Sunday Live, Kaveta, Kitui.